Hi everyone, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. Although I highly recommend using our Viewtron license plate recognition camera with a Viewtron network video recorder, you can use the Viewtron LPR as a standalone recording device because it has a built-in SD card in it and the automatic number plate recognition software is actually built into the camera. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Viewtron LPR as a standalone recording device. And then I'm gonna run through a demo where I trigger license plate recognition and then show you how to uh, search and play back the recording of that capture. The micro SD card slot is located in this compartment on the underside of the camera. The two screws are removed to pop off this cover plate. Please note the micro SD card is not included with the camera and must be purchased separately and you must use a high quality class 10 SD card. The Viewtron LPR camera supports card sizes up to 128 gigabyte. Also please note that to playback recorded video and view the snapshot images on the micro SD card, the card stays installed inside of the camera. You cannot simply remove the card and plug it into a computer for playback. The camera must be connected to a network and accessed via web browser or the desktop or mobile apps that are included. To configure the license plate recognition software on the camera, I'm going to log in through a Chrome web browser. When I first log in, I'm brought to the live view of the camera and it will take a couple seconds for the video stream to load. Next, I'm going to click on this config tab up top and then go into storage. Now, I already installed the SD card and I already formatted it, but this is where you would format the SD card. That's the first thing you need to do. And then next, I'm going to go into the record option and set the recording stream to main, the pre-recording time to six seconds, and the cycle right to yes. So it'll override the oldest video as the SD card gets full. And I'll click to save those settings. Next, I'm going to click on ANPR under event. That stands for automated number plate recognition. And I'm going to enable it and basically check these boxes so that the uh, camera will save both uh, uh, snapshot images as well as video recording to the SD card. Next, I'm going to click on area. This is where you could def you define the license plate recognition zone and the minimum and maximum size for plates. Now, you should get this as accurate as possible. I've had really good uh, results with min's minimum set to 5 and max set to 12%. Click save there and then OK. And then on schedule, um, it, by default, the schedule is continuous recording. I'm going to leave that set to continuous 24 by 7. And I'm not going to do a vehicle database, but you can add uh, recognized plates uh, into the database here. So next, I'll go to the live view. And if I click on this car icon in the lower right, that'll enable this little window over here that'll show the thumbnail images of the license plates as they're detected by the software. So in a minute, you're going to see me coming around the corner there in the distance, and I have a license plate on the front of my vehicle. And you'll see when I enter the license plate recognition detection zone, the ANPS software recognizes the plate and recognizes the digits and uh, the, the numbers and the letters on the plate. I can double click on that snapshot image to get a detailed view of the vehicle snapshot and confirm that the license plate was recognized properly. Another way to look at plates is to go into data record. In data record, you could search uh, beginning time and end time for all of the plates that were detected. And I could double click on the thumbnail and again it pulls up the detailed image of the vehicle and the plate and you can see that it was detected properly. If I want to see the video recording, I can go into search and I'm going to search today. And these are all the events that were recorded via video. Remember, I'm doing both snapshots and video recording. And when I get close here, I'll pause the video for a sec and zoom in and you can see how clear the plate is. I can double click on another one of those events to play back another video. And here I come a little slower this time and I'll pause it again and zoom in so you could see how clear the plate was captured. When I'm done with video recording uh, playback, I could go back to the live view by clicking on that live tab. I hope this video has been helpful. So again, 
I do highly recommend using a Vutron network video recorder with the Vutron LPR camera. However, there's a couple cases where you may want to use it as a standalone device. Number one, if you need to install this camera out at, a, uh, at, at an entrance of a community where it's just not possible to install a recorder, uh, we do have customers that do it in that case. Also, if you have a third-party NVR in place and you want to connect this camera to that NVR using uh, OnVIF, um, the, the license plate recognition will not work on third-party NVRs. It'll capture plates clear enough on the video, but the AI software is not integrated with any NVRs except Vutron. So uh, you can put, use the SD card in that case and have your NVR recording video from the camera, but if you want to use the automatic number plate recognition locally on the SD card, you could do that in conjunction with your recorder. So those are the two cases where it might make sense to use uh, the Vutron LPR as a standalone device uh, with the SD card doing the recording. If you want to see additional videos, I have a ton of videos with the Vutron LPR and the network video recorder. Uh, you can see all those videos at www.cctvcamerapros.com slash LPR. If you have any questions about anything related to this or video surveillance in general, you can contact me anytime at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. Thank you for watching.